Good evening, and welcome to IdeaU's third annual commencement. My name is Philip Garza, and I am the co-founder of IdeaU and IDEA's chief college officer. Thank you for joining us this evening as we celebrate our graduates. We are so proud and grateful to be able to share this very special moment with you, especially during these unprecedented times. Three years ago, when there was just one director, one center, one group of 43 students, we could not have imagined, much less dreamed, that three years later, we would be here, right here, right now, conferring our 150th degree to students sitting across our three different sites within our organization. What a joy it is to celebrate this with you all, as this is as much our accomplishment as it is yours. Families and friends, thank you for joining our third annual IdeaU commencement and our very first virtual commencement. The love, dedication, and support you have provided our graduates is in large part why they are here. Graduates, let us remember that commencement does not mean the end, but rather the beginning. This degree confirms your place in our global economy and citizenry, and I'm just so overwhelmed by how you will impact our community, locally, regionally, nationally, globally, in the years to come. Felicidades. We are so, so proud of you. We will begin our program with the singing of the national anthem by Mr. Eber Ortiz. Eber is a member of the class of 2020 who has earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in communications. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the rampart we watched where so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag Still there, oh, say thus the star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Thank you, Abed, for that lovely rendition of our national anthem. Good evening, everyone. It is a pleasure being here with you today. My name is Crystal Garza, and I'm a college completion advisor at IDEA US Ago. It is truly inspiring to see how perseverance, dedication, and hard work allowed our students to achieve success. The following two students genuinely exemplified the best of IDEA U. They set ambitious goals, worked tirelessly to submit and master projects, and stopped nothing short of accomplishing their dreams. It is my honor to introduce Cynthia Padilla and Rodolfo Garcia. Rodolfo Rudy Garcia is a supportive and loving husband and is a father of two sons, Jeremy and Matthew. Rudy worked for Donna Independent School District for 30 years, where he specialized in software and database development and data analysis. Rudy always wanted to attend a university to earn his bachelor's degree, and he is now one step closer in doing so. He completed his Associate of Arts in General Studies with a concentration in business in four months, a record at IDEA-U. He is currently pursuing his Bachelor of Arts degree. Cynthia Padilla is a wife and dedicated mother of three boys. Cindy is a Rio Grande Valley native and is currently employed at La Jolla Independent School District. She decided to join IDEA-U 14 years after earning her Associate's degree. In July 2020, Cindy started her degree and earned her bachelor's degree in communications with a concentration in business in six months, an all-time record at IDEA-U. 
Cindy and Rudy's stories are not unlike others in the class of 2020. Today, I want to celebrate you for persisting, for not giving up in the face of the many obstacles you encountered. It is my hope that you carry those lessons of perseverance and resilience into the next chapters of your lives. Good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Rodriguez Sunguma, the co-founder and managing director at IDEAU. A year or two ago, many of the students we are celebrating today began the journey toward degree completion at IDEAU via Southern New Hampshire University's College for America program. A large majority of these students have a part-time job or a full-time job. They are parents and spouses, and they are also actively involved in their community or religious organization. In short, they live very busy lives. Despite this, they made the commitment to prioritize the completion of their degree. This meant giving up time with their families and friends to spend countless hours tackling rigorous college projects. Their journey to degree completion, particularly this year, has not been easy, but I know it has been worth it. Our students' accomplishments wouldn't be possible without the love and support of the people in their lives. Thank you to each of you who played a pivotal role in motivating, encouraging, and supporting our graduates. We appreciate all you've done and continue to do for our students. So graduates, if you are sitting at home watching along with some of these special people in your life, take this moment to share a word or two of gratitude. Hugs and kind words are encouraged. Now, it is my privilege to introduce our commencement speaker, Dr. Lisette Nieves. Dr. Nieves is the president of the Fund for the City of New York and full clinical professor of educational leadership and policy studies at NYU Steinhardt. Dr. Nieves holds a Bachelor of Arts from Brooklyn College, a Master of Arts from the University of Oxford, and a Master's in Public Administration from the Woodrow Wilson School at Princeton University. She earned her doctorate degree with distinction at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Nieves is a Truman Scholar, a Rhodes Scholar, and an Aspen Pahara Fellow. For over 25 years, Dr. Lisette Nieves has served in a variety of cross-sector leadership positions. She is an experienced social entrepreneur who has been part of numerous startups, including founding Europe NYC. She is also a public sector leader who has held senior leadership positions at both the federal and municipal levels. Her areas of interest include community colleges, college pathways, workforce, and educational partnerships, which are all represented in her own co-authored new book, Working to Learn, Disrupting the Divide Between College and Career Pathways for Young People. It is an honor to have Dr. Nieves join us today to deliver the 2020 commencement address. Welcome, Dr. Nieves. Good evening, Idea University graduates. Good evening, Idea University supporters of graduates. A special thank you to Philip Garza and Marie Esther Rodriguez, who are co-founders of IDEA University and invited me to be a speaker this evening. My name is Lisette Nieves, actually Dr. Lisette Nieves. I am a first-generation college student, a Boricua from Brooklyn, New York. I always say via Puerto Rico. I am so proud to be a first-generation graduate. And when I was invited to speak this evening, I couldn't help but say yes. I am currently the president of the Fund for the City of New York. I'm also a professor at New York University where I have the wonderful opportunity of supporting and training and educating great people in education. So I wanted to speak tonight to say a couple of things to all of you. One is that Idea University is unique and special for many reasons. One is that it's a place that allows Idea alums, Idea staff, and community members to come together and to recreate, rebuild, and re-envision themselves with an additional credential. Half of the graduates tonight are graduating with an associate and about half are graduating with their bachelors. Some of you have gone very non-traditional routes and maybe waited many years before you found higher education and other of you did it pretty quickly after your undergraduate, excuse me, your high school experience. But whether you came here, what you might consider a long route or a short route, the most important thing is that you are here. And today is about celebrating you. 
When I think about graduates today, the kind of completion rates that Idea University has is not seen in many other higher ed institutions. And what that says is the kind of support, I call it the high tech and the high touch that Idea University has, is met with the high motivation of incredible students such as yourselves. And there are a few students that I would like to highlight because they inspire me greatly. And the first one is Melissa Rojas, who just got her associate's degree. She's a community member who's part of Idea University and wants to become an educator. She wants to be a kindergarten teacher. So um, I'm pulling for you. I'm counting on you, Melissa, to make this happen because we need dedicated, talented teachers like yourself who understand, listen, and care deeply about young people for them to be successful. So congratulations to you. I also want to congratulate an idea alum, and that's Kendra Barrientos. And Kendra started, boy, not that long ago, in under six months, was able to complete the requirements for an associate, and now is really looking at a bachelor's in management. I'm so excited to see, Kendra, that the work that you're doing, I know that you're going to make a huge impact. I'm proud of you. You're continuing the idea legacy. What a great grounding in education for your first 12 years. And now look, keep it up. Um, I'd love to see you running a big company one day and know that this was just the beginning of your college journey. And I also want to recognize someone who's a staff member at IDEAU. And I think that's an important part. Because when I think of Juan Gonzalez, I think of a parent who has two children. I think of someone who was in the first Idea University class and received his associates, and now received his bachelor's degree, and also a recent promotion at Idea. How wonderful. Never doubt for a second that your children are taking in everything that you're doing and are being inspired by you, the same way that I am being inspired by you. So, why did I highlight the students first and the graduates first? Because they made me think a lot about what it was like for me. My grandmother went to school to the second grade. My father did not graduate high school and my mom did graduate high school. But one thing they all had in common was that they knew education was important and they valued education. And so I was gonna get the best education possible and I went to my local university and I was able to do that. I remember thinking often about school and my father would always tell me, you're gonna have the opportunities that I didn't have. And I really worked hard at that and I always thought about it. But one thing I know is that I was able to be successful in school because my parents taught me those lessons around navigation how to work hard, how to find someone who knows how to help you if you cannot help yourself, right? And most importantly, that you should always have dignity and pride in yourself. I'm so grateful for those lessons. Yo estoy muy orgullosa de mi familia. Yo estoy muy orgullosa de mi historia. I stand, I say, on the shoulders of giants. They may not have been formally educated, but they made me who I am. And they created this ambitious, intelligent woman who is speaking to you now via technology. The other thing I wanna to say too that I thought was really interesting is I, I thought when I was reading the bios on students who are graduating, I remember that I had some challenges at first when I was thinking about school. I thought at first I was just going to not go to school right away. I was just going to work and help my family. And then I realized I can do both. And that's what many of you do you, and have done. You have been taking care of yourselves and your families while you consume education. There doesn't have to be a trade-off. It is a both and. And that's why Idea University is special. And for many young people around the country, Consuming education and working is the norm. In fact, the overwhelming majority of students in this country go to school and work. It is only 24% of students 
in college that go away to traditional four-year colleges. And so I want you all to realize that you have many other brothers and sisters around the country who are trying to achieve the same things that you have just achieved. Now, I wanna say one thing to you, and you've probably heard enough advice from tons of people, but I will say this piece. There's an amazing thing about being American. And when I say American, I say being in this country. And what that means is that you can recreate and reimagine yourself. And that is what we often do. I decided later in my life to go for my doctorate. And I became a college professor and I wrote a book and I actually highlighted Idea University in my books. I'm really proud of that. But I did that. And that was just one of the many careers I was able to have and that I will have. And so I hope that I'm talking to students who are graduating, who I may just be inspiring the next scholar. You might be writing the next book that educators are gonna be inspired by and will help them understand and work better with young people. I also hope that I have someone out there and many of you out there, you may be building a business, right? You may be the next scientist or the like. And that is what inspires me because recreating, reinventing and understanding yourself is a lifelong process. It is not for this one discrete moment in time. It is for a much longer period of time. And that's why Idea You is so special because you get to see everyone along the continuum of where they are reimagining themselves. So I will end with this today is only about celebration. It is about feeling a sense of hope in the future. At a time during a pandemic that has been very hard, particularly on Latino families and African American families in this country. And so we must seize the moments when we get to celebrate, when we get to recognize our achievement, when we get to embrace each other, and we get to remind each other of what it means to be alive, to be blessed, to be able to be educated. Congratulations to all of you. I wish you the best. And I look forward to visiting Idea You and meeting you as alums and hearing what you've done with your lives since graduation. Many blessings to you all and be safe. Thank you, Dr. Nieves. Hello. My name is Monica Revuelta, director of IDEA U Brownsville. Now, the time everyone has been waiting for. It's time for the virtual presentation of degrees. The following are the candidates for the Associate of Art in General Studies and the Associate of Arts in Healthcare Management. Associate of Arts in General Studies, Amado Menes. Amanda Harris. Carlos Martinez. Claudia Munoz. Cristina Hernandez. Earthwind Presas de la Cruz. Edson Asael Cerna. Gabriela Yvette Guevara. Grace Cabrera Manzanares. Guadalupe Godinez. Iris Belen Bautista Arroyo. Jennifer Villarreal. Jessica Hara.
Joanna Ramirez. Joanna Denise Torres. Jonathan Rodriguez. Cassandra Gutierrez. Kendra Odette Barrientos. Leticia Vasquez Cruz. Linda Aurora Vasquez Cruz. Marcela Green. Melissa Rojas Via Gomez. Michelle Avalos. Priscilla Marie Serna. Rodolfo Lopez Garcia. Sandra Mancias. Sandra Ramirez. Vanessa Vasquez Diaz. Associate of Arts in Healthcare Management. Liliana Chavez. Norma Elizabeth Rodriguez. Samantha Gamet Perez. These students have successfully completed the course of studies prescribed by the faculty at Southern New Hampshire University and College for America and fulfilled all requirements for their chosen curricula. I am pleased to present the candidates for the Associate of Arts in General Studies and the Associate of Arts in Healthcare Management. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Patty Montemayor, Director of Idea U Wesico. Next, we will be celebrating our Bachelor of Arts students. The following are the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Communications, Healthcare Management, and Management. Bachelor of Arts in Communications, Aaliyah Williams. Benjamin Orozco. Cynthia Padilla. Ever Ortiz Horta. Felicia Sepulveda. Jesus Vicente Melgoza II. Larry Hardy Jr. Nicholas Moa. Nidia Alvarez. Victor Salinas. Bachelor of Arts in Healthcare Management. Aaron Isidro. Raquel N. Gonzalez.
Bachelor of Arts in Management. Aldaberto Mendoza. Burnaby Hernandez. Brianna Juarez. China Gray. Denise De Leon. Diana Partida. Elsa Hernandez. Evelyn Chapman. Gina Garza. John David Kimmick. Juan F. Gonzalez III. Marcos Salinas. Melissa Guerra. Naum Martinez. Noemi Aragón. Priscilla Rodriguez. Robert Aranda. Sheila Marie Garcia. These students have successfully completed the course of studies prescribed by the faculty at Southern New Hampshire University and College for America and fulfilled all requirements for their chosen curricula. Congratulations, Bachelor of Arts graduates. The turning of the tassel signifies a person's transition from candidate to graduate. At the start of the ceremony, the tassel is worn on the right side of the cap, and once degrees are conferred, the tassel will move to the left. At this time, will all candidates please move your tassel from the right side to the left? Making your graduation official. Congratulations. It is with a full heart that we honor and celebrate our graduates today. We are immensely proud of all of your accomplishments. We are so excited to see the impact you will make on the world. Upward and onward, IDEA you graduates. Felicidades.